Bruce Biddies. What is up? My name is Jared from Jared Gaming, and today we are going to be building a fort. Um, so basically, right now, what we're going to be needing is just a piece of wool. I picked light blue wool and a grass block. The light blue wool or whatever wool color you guys would like to use is going to be marking out the perimeter of the fort. And then what we'll do is from there, delete it and build the towers. Because we want to make sure everything lines up before we actually start building it, just to make sure... So that way, nothing is uh, messed up beforehand, you know, because that would really suck if we get all the towers and the walls in and the final wall, it doesn't line up and then you got to delete it all. So this is just a little pri um, cautionary thing that we're going to do. So what I would like you guys to go ahead and do is just break out of any color wool you guys would like. Place three blocks like so. Place one diagonal to that. Then go ahead and place three more. Then one. And then three. One three and one like so then what we're gonna do is start right in the middle of the three going to the right of it we're gonna place one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so we're gonna place 15 blocks long and let's just double count that once again it's always good to double count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so we do have it correct okay so now that we have that in place on the right of the wall piece or the 15 blocks long we're gonna go ahead and place one two three then one one two three one one two three one one two three and one so it should look just like this kind of like a dumbbell once you guys have that we're gonna go 15 blocks long from this diagonal part right here on the right tower so again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen so it should look just like this so this is the front of the building and then that's the offshoot to the right. What we're gonna do is place one block diagonal right there, then place one here, and then make it three, one here, and then make it three, so it looks just like this. Oh, oh how did I just do that? Oh man, I don't know how to fix that. What did I just do? Oh, okay. Sorry, I haven't played Minecraft in a while, and I was just like, what the heck? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Okay, so then what we're going to do is place one diagonal, and then three, one diagonal, three, and one diagonal like that. So again, this is the front of the build, and this is what it looks like so far. Now we're going to come back over here, and then we're going to go on the three side. Place one block right there and make it 15 blocks long. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we're going to go ahead and place three on the end like that. And what we're going to go ahead and do is place one, then three, one, oops, three, one, three, and one. So it should just look like this. So another dumbbell. And on the diagonal part right here, going off. We're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're gonna place one more extra on the end of that 15 to make the start of the tower. And then we're gonna, you know how to do the tower hopefully by now. It's a three by one pattern. There we go. So again, that's the front of it. And we'll just say this is, well, we'll go around just so that we know. So this is where we started out right here. Um, so this is what it looks like so far. So I know that this is correct because if you stand right here and use this as like a crosshair, so if you stand like right there and break it, you can peer across and you see how that lines up perf um, right in line with that. I don't know if it's perpendicular, right? Or parallel. I don't know. It's one of them. Then what we're going to do is come back over to this one and we're going to place another 15 blocks. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Oh, that's 15. Let's just double count again because I wasn't paying attention. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that is 15. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and place on the end three blocks like this and build another tower. Okay. 
There we go. And then we're going to go diagonal by 15. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then place an extra one on the end. And then start to build the tower. There we go. Then we're going to go over by 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we're going to place 3. Then 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, and 1. And then now this is the moment of truth. Is 15 blocks going to connect it? So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And there we go. So if you have anything other than 15 blocks fit in between any of these, you did something wrong. Then what you would have to do is just in case, because I had to do this earlier. So you know how like when we first built this, you guys kind of see some dirt blocks because I already built this and I messed up. And how I did it to double count is I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I double stacked it all the way around on the wall pieces and counted them first. And then if they were all 15, I counted the tower pieces to make sure that they were in the proper place. And how you know that those are in the proper place is that you should have always 3, 1, um, 3, 1, 1. But really it should be 3, 1, 3, but I'm counting from the wall. So see how it's like one wall there? Then you have this three piece, then you have a one piece, and then one right here before it touches the wall again. So that's how you know if you did it right. And I think that it should be like that on all of them. So let's just double count. So a one, a one, and a three, because that one's right. A one, I mean a three, a one, and a one, a one, a one, and a three, and then you just keep going around. And if there's anything other than that, then you know that you messed up. Okay, so if you guys do not have this here, please pause the video here and resume when you guys are ready, and we will be back to build the towers in a moment. Okay, guys, we are back, and uh, as you guys can see, I already built one of the towers because I was trying to figure out how I wanted it to look. Um... Okay, guys, we are back, and uh, as you guys can see, I already built one of the towers because I wanted to see how it would look so that way I can build it over here for you guys. So on all the tower pieces, you guys can go ahead and remove these or you guys could just remove it one at a time so that way we have the marker right there because it leaves a little marker for you guys what i want you guys to go ahead and do is replace all of this with cobblestone on the first layer and then uh in the corners what we're going to go ahead and do is delete them and place spruce wood blocks or spruce wood logs i should say and then what we're going to do is take this up to four blocks high Whoop, that is a little high. Okay, we could bring this one all the way up because since it's on the wall piece, we don't need to do anything to it, so it's just done as it is. This one here, we're gonna bring up and we're gonna break these three right here. Or if you guys want to, you guys could break this one here and bring it up already. But I think it's just easier just to build it all the way up really quickly. And I messed that up. There we go. And Jen just delete it. Like that. So there's three sides that you should have on this one. Yeah, three sides. I think there should always be three. Yeah, because it's an octagon, so there's always gonna be three three sides. Okay. Okay, so basically on this one right here on the outside, so we're on the outside of the um, fortress right now, we're gonna place two pieces like this. And again, on this side, since we're on the outside of the fortress, we're going to place two. If we jump over the fence and come on the inside of the fortress, we're not going to place one on the downside. We're going to place one on the upside because that's going to be a door right there. So that way you guys can enter the tower. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is just place two cobblestone stairs side by side. Like this. And place a cobblestone block in the middle. On top of the spruce wood logs, we're just going to go ahead and place cobblestone slabs like so on all of them. And on these glass, uh, or on the windows, we're going to place glass. So there we go. What I want you guys to go ahead and do is break out your spruce wood logs once again and place them like this. So as you guys can see, I'm placing a log below and deleting it so that way I can get them facing upright. Because if you place them like that, they won't go. So you have to place one down and then up. To bring it in and up then we're gonna just gonna go ahead and place I don't know how tall it is actually 
But let me go check for you guys, because I know there's some people that are going to want to know. Okay, so let's count this one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine blocks in height. I have three right here, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And let's just go ahead and do that to all of them. There we go. What I want you guys to go ahead and do is break out your cobbles uh, or your spruce wood planks and delete all the grass on the inside right here. And replace it with spruce wood planks. And this is very good for, uh, if you guys want to build this in survival, it's not going to take a whole lot of resources to build this in survival, but it will take you some time. Then right underneath this, we're going to place another one. So as you guys can see, and I missed that spot right there. There we go. So now we have another layer built in. And we can place white wool on the inside right here. We're not going to be able to see it, but only from the inside. Then you'll place a spruce wood plank, or stair I mean, right along all of these right here. And then skip one and then place one upside down. Then we'll place a glass pane in between both them, making them a window. Then what we're going to do is place white wool on top. And at the white wool level, we are going to go ahead and place, uh, what are they called? Spruce wood planks to make another floor level. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is break the spruce wood plank, or spruce wood logs, I'm sorry, all the way around next to the white wool. And place them facing outwards in each direction. So you should have two facing in each direction. If I can get that one. There we go. So let me just go around it like this. There you go. So that's what it should look like. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is place another spruce wood stair on top of the white wool all the way around and then skipping one and then going up by one and placing an upside down spruce wood stair all the way around. Then in between them two we're going to go ahead and place glass panes. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and place white wool on top of all these remaining ones. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is place on top of the spruce wood only, spruce wood logs only, we're going to go ahead and place um, cobblestone blocks. And then we're going to place spruce wood in between the rest of them and fill this in for the final layer. There we go. We're going to place upside down cobblestone stairs. Where did they go? Right here. On the cobblestone blocks. All the way around see how they're upside down then we're going to place um cobblestone slabs on the upper portion all the way around in these corners okay since we did that on this one we're going to place them on the lower portion in between the two cobblestone stairs so there should be a gap right there then we're going to take cobblestone blocks and place them on the perimeter on the outskirts like this and I'm just gonna, I know we're gonna delete some of it, so that's what it should look like. Then we're gonna delete the corner pieces. So that was just to help you guys. So on top of the co um, cobblestone stairs, you really only needed to place them, but it just helps with a little bit of uh, visuals. Okay, we can go ahead and get cobblestone wall pieces and place them in between all of these right here, even on the corner pieces. So it should look just like this all the way around. Next, I want to go ahead and grab spruce fence posts and place them on the white wool all the way around. And on top of that, we're going to place a torch. And if you guys click on the stair, it'll automatically go onto the post. 
if you guys did not know that little secret. And then we're going to need a stone button to place on the spurs wood logs all the way around the outside, how they're facing outwards for added decoration. Okay. What I want to go ahead and do is grab stone brick blocks and go in the middle of the tower, placing five high and then breaking, oops, breaking the one in the middle so there should be two a gap and two then we're gonna grab chiseled stone blocks and this is a monster egg doesn't matter if it is or not I mean if you're survival it you're not gonna be able to get one at least I don't think I haven't played Minecraft in a while but then we're gonna go ahead and use um, cobblestone walls and place three and then switch back to spruce wood fence posts and place five then what we're gonna need is an iron bars and we're just gonna place one on top of that now I picked two colors I picked black and red as my primary colors for my fortress you guys can pick any colors you guys want even a solid color will do but it doesn't really matter it's just whatever color you guys would prefer so you're gonna place three in an L frame like this of your first color and then you're gonna go over like that down and then place two and then break so it should look just like this from the side and then switch back to your first color, go down over like an L, and then break the two. So it's only touching by diagonal bits like that. So that's your guys' towers, and I forgot to do one thing. So we just need to go ahead and get a door, and that is a spruce wood door. I actually forgot something else as well. We're gonna need the spruce wood door, place it on the inside like this, so that way when you close it, it's an indentation. Go back inside and offsetting from the back this is the middle piece right here offsetting from the back place up so that way when you look directly up you can break right here and now you got a hole in the ground come up to this one here so you just came up this ladder here coming up here breaking here and here now we're gonna need a ladder and we're gonna do that just like this Oh, and I'm messing up a lot. I'll fix that in a minute. Okay, so now we have our ladder going all the way up to the very top, so that way you guys can have a lookout position. And there you guys go. So that is how you guys build the tower. If you guys do not have this here, please pause the video here and resume when you guys are ready. Okay guys, we are back, and uh, this is actually going to be the end of the video. If you guys think that I did not show you guys how to do this well enough, uh, stay tuned because I'm actually going to do it in a minute. I'm going to redo it, but much slower for you guys. So the people that understood what I did in the last time I just showed how to build the tower, what I want you guys to go ahead and do is wherever there's a tower, put a tower, okay? Uh, that's what I want you guys to do and for the people that are like okay I didn't completely understand what he did don't worry because right now I am going to go show you guys how to do it again but much slower again guys the people that are understanding of what I just did and they're ready to do it on their own you're more than welcome to go ahead and stop the video here and start part two after you guys finish each tower over there but uh, thank you to those guys tuning in. Thank you guys again for stopping by and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And liking, commenting, and subscribing will be very helpful. And if you guys would like to spend an extra 10 seconds of your time, share this on Facebook and Twitter. It's only 10 seconds of your time, but it means a lot to me. Okay, So it means more than just 10 seconds to me. It could bring in more people to my channel, which means I can produce more videos for you guys. Um, Okay, so thank you guys for that, and uh, for the people that are ready to start again on the tower, let's go over here and work on the tower. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the tower circle once again, the 3 by one repeating pattern. And you guys can see the mark out of this tower right there. We're On the threes, we're going to place a straight of cobblestone, just like this. And on the corners, we're going to place um, spruce wood, like that. So that's what that should look like. We're gonna take this to a total of four blocks high. So that's two, three, and four. It's two, three, and four. 
two, three, and four, two, three, and four. You guys can go ahead and bring up the spruce pieces now to four blocks high. Oops, did not mean to do that. Okay, since this has a wall piece, we're not gonna do anything to this corner piece right here, or this cobblestone, but the rest of them, we're gonna go ahead and take out these three from the bottom. And that's in the direct middle, just like this. And we're gonna do that all the way around. As you guys can see on this one here, we're on the inside of the complex or the fortress. And we're gonna place a upside down cobblestone stair right there. On the rest of these, we're gonna go ahead and place an upside down one and a forward facing one to make it look like that. And these are cobblestone stair pieces, just like that. Then what we're gonna go ahead and do is let me, actually we could go ahead and put the door in now, it saves me time. There's the door. And let's go ahead and dig out the inside of the tower, remove the grass where we don't need it, and we're gonna replace it with spruce wood planks. Now you guys can use other things than spruce wood planks, but I think the spruce wood planks do go better with this. There we go. And I'm gonna remove the door and get glass panes, if I can find them on this one over here. There we go. And where we have the openings for the windows, we're gonna go ahead and place the glass panes. I'm gonna go ahead and place cobblestone slabs on top of the spruce wood poles. And I'm gonna go ahead and place cobblestone stairs like so all the way around. So that way the flat part or the one that mo looks most like a block side is facing on the inside. Then we're gonna go ahead and go back around and place cobblestone all in those holes. What I would like you to do on the back of those cobblestone, place a block of white wool. And underneath here, you guys can go ahead and place the second part of the second floor, which is gonna be spruce wood planks. I'm just gonna leave the building. And we're gonna place spruce wood logs in the corners like so. We are gonna take this up to a total of nine blocks. So one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now we confirm that it is nine blocks high. You guys can just build it up and eyeball it with the other ones. And do this to all of them all the way around. There we go. Then what we're gonna do is take spruce wood stairs, place one along the bottom on top of the white wool. Then we're gonna place glass panes on top of that. And an upside down spruce wood stair on top of the glass. On top of the spruce wood stair, we're gonna go ahead and break out the white wool and place one block on top of that all the way around. And then we're gonna go ahead and place spruce wood stairs once again, but forward facing and facing the right way. Then on top of that, glass panes once again. And then an upside down spruce stair on top of that. There we go. Then what we're gonna go ahead and do is place white wool on top of the upside down spruce stair. And then we're gonna get our cobblestone stairs and place them upside down forward facing like this on each of the spruce wood logs all the way around. Actually, I messed up. I apologize for that. I meant to place cobblestone pieces on top of the spruce wood logs and then do the upside down stairs. So I apologize for that once again. Just go back around and do how we just had it. And there we go. Now what we can go ahead and do is place spruce wood logs on top of the white wool and then fill in the final layer right here. We also wanna break down because on this white layer, right on the white, we're gonna cover that up with another layer of spruce wood planks. So we're gonna need to do something to that later. I want to fill that in right there. Then we're gonna take our spruce wood slabs, 
I meant cobblestone stair slabs or cobblestone slabs I mean and place them like so on the upper portion in the corners oops all the way around and then below in between the stairs all the way around we're gonna place cobblestone blocks on top of the upside down cobblestone stairs all the way around like so and then we'll get back to that in a minute because I want to go ahead and break these spruce wood logs next to the white wool all the way around and then have two outward facing logs all the way around so it should look just like that okay um what we can do is we could do the ladder part first since i have the ladder so let's go ahead and enter the building and see how this is the back straight from the door one block from the back so that way there's a one block gap you're going to build all the way up so that way in the middle right here when you break the ladder is going to be placed directly in the middle of the build then you're going to come up over to the left look up right here fly up right there and place a ladder all the way up if i can get this ladder to place i don't know why i can't there we go Okay, so now we have the ladder in place, and I no longer need the ladder, so what I want to do is trade it out for the cobblestone wall pieces, which we're going to use on the tower. We're going to place them in between the um, cobblestone blocks all the way around on the tower part. Just like that. What I would like to go ahead and do now is we don't need any of these, so I would like to grab stone brick blocks, chiseled stone brick, uh, we have our cobblestone wall and we need spruce, spruce fence posts. So I would like to go ahead and get our stone brick blocks and place five in a row. Break the middle one so that way there's two, a gap, and then two. And place our chiseled stone brick in the middle of that. Then we're going to place cobblestone, um, what's that, the cobblestone wall, three of them. And then we're going to place five spruce fence posts. And before we get rid of this spruce fence post, I want to go ahead and place them in between on the white all the way around the entire build right there. Next thing we are going to go ahead and need is a torch, a stone button, an iron bar, black and red wool. Now again, you guys don't have to use black and red wool. You guys can use any color you guys want. So I'm going to place the iron bars on top of our flag holder and then if you guys use your torch and press it right on the stair it should appear right on top of your uh what are they called fence posts then on the stone buttons are going to go all the way around on the spruce wood logs that are facing outwards there we go so now that is all done what we're going to go ahead and do is see how these flags are facing in that direction so we want to keep the thing going because you don't want it to look weird because obviously the wind's all blowing in the same direction. So if you don't have them all going in the same direction, it's going to look kind of weird. Then we're going to go ahead and place our flag pieces. So as you guys can see, I placed three black wool with an L frame. And see how I went down and I went over. So I placed one here. And then I went down by one, broke this one. Then I placed on the two on the side of that one and then broke that one. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna go down with a black one over and over once again so it should look like this like an L but facing in a weird direction and then you're gonna break those two and there you guys go so that is how you guys build the tower I hope that that slower portion helped out you guys that are still watching and as always guys thank you guys for watching again if you guys can share this video on Facebook and Twitter it only takes about 10 seconds to do so it would really mean a lot to me because it would bring people to my channel meaning that I would get more views and I can make more videos because I can dedicate more time to that kind of thing. So if you guys can go ahead and share this video on Facebook and Twitter or any social media you guys would like to, uh, drop a like and a comment as well. That would really help me out a lot. It only takes about 20, 30 seconds to do all of that right there. And if you guys can subscribe again and hit that bell notification icon, that would also help. So again, that's about 30 seconds to do all of that there, but it means a world difference to me, and it does help my channel grow in a huge way. And as always, guys, thank you guys for um, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, guys, bye, guys.